All right, so today we're going to be completely removing the dash in my 03 Impala. Um, just for fun, because that's what I like to do in my free time. I've already taken the liberty of completely clearing out everything from the ashtray and up, just to make sure so when the dash pops out, nothing gets caught. Really the only tool you're going to need is a short Phillips screwdriver like this. Due to these screws and the dash, it's kind of hard to fit a full-size screwdriver like this up in there. But for comfort use and other screws, you might as well grab a longer one as well. The first thing you want to take off is these fuse box covers. They're a little difficult to take off, really. You just want to pop it out a little bit and then get your fingers in there to get it off the rest of the way. Do it on the driver's side and the passenger side. Next, you want to look on the driver's footwell. Grab these two tabs, pull out this plastic piece, and you can just let it hang there. We really just need it for access into these two screws. Then you want to try to carefully pop this bottom panel straight out. You don't want to pull it down or up, just pull it straight out. It might be a little difficult. But it should come out just like that. Now you might have a screw here to hold that in. I don't, but make sure you take that out. While we're still over here, you want to remove this screw and the two screws that are above the gauge cluster. Right here is where you'll need the short screwdriver. Fall around to the other side and take out that screw right there. Now the next part's really important. In order to pull the dash off, the column shifter needs to be in first gear. So what you really wanna do is engage the parking brake so you don't go anywhere. Step on the brake, put the key in either accessory or on, don't need to start it, and then drop the column shifter down to first. That way you have a clear path to take the dash out. Once that's all set, start from one side. You should be able to pop this off. Now this ring with off accessory on start, this plastic piece right here will actually pop off. It's hard to get it off with a screwdriver before all this, so I just usually pop it off with the dash. See how that ring popped out right there? So if you want, put your foot on the brake, Go back up to park, that way you can take out the key, remove this piece, and then just go back to where you were. Now it is really tricky to get this dash out all the way, and it is kind of flimsy, so you want to be careful with it. And if you have fog lights, your fog light switch will be over here, and of course your four-way switch is right here. What you want to do is pull that underneath the top of the dash. Right there is a little tab. Take a screwdriver, it can be a Phillips or a flathead, push it in, just pop that out. That way you're not pulling on any wires. You might want to drop your steering wheel just to get a little bit more space in between the actual steering wheel and the dash. And there we go. Once the dash is out, you can then put your foot in the brake, go back into park, and remove your key. A couple reasons for removing your dash would be if you needed to get to your heating and air conditioning controls, your radio, perhaps your ignition, or even your light panel switch. All right, once you're finished doing whatever we gotta do, make sure you're down in first. Don't forget to plug back in your four ways and your fog lights if you have them. Pop that down. You do have to use a little bit of force to push that down in. line up most of the holes you see like right here and right down in there as best you can start popping it in you might need to use a little bit of force in some areas over here in the passenger side you might need to give a good whack just make sure you're actually lined up that way you don't break any of the plastic That should be all back together. You can now go back up to park, take out your key, depress your emergency brake. Don't forget this piece. You want off, straight up and down, and start to the right. Come back over to the passenger side, put this screw back in. Do the same thing with this screw right here. The two screws right underneath your dash.
put the screw back right here if you have it. I don't, so I'm not gonna put it in. Pull this piece back up, make sure to line it in. I'm looking at this going in that hole right there. Same thing on the other side. Make sure this rubber right underneath here isn't pinched or folded down, and then just push it straight forward. Put these two screws back. Grab this plastic piece, just click it back in place. Grab one of your fuse panel covers, make sure it's the right side. This is not the right side. This is the right side. Tuck it in like that. Make sure that piece lines up with that. Snap it back in. Do the same thing with the other side. You might have to take this plastic piece down here and kind of tuck it under. And there you go. Now you're all set. The two screws right underneath. Ah. Son of a...